Listed here are several ways that you can grab attention with the headline. There's a lot more than this, but these are the seven examples we're going to go over today. So with that, let's go over seven great examples of headlines for classic print ads. So this is a great ad from Pop-Tarts. Remember Pop-Tarts? You put them in the toaster and they pop out and they're ready to go. Well, their headline is, oops, we goofed. So this is a very curiosity and surprise inducing headline because it starts with, oops, we goofed. And you're like, wait, what do you mean they goofed? What, what's going on? It says, oops, we goofed. Will you excuse us, please? We ran out of Pop-Tarts. And they basically go on to say that Pop-Tarts are so popular that they barely have any more in stock. So I didn't want to read the smaller print of this 1964 ad, but I almost had to with this headline. And since it got me with the headline, it runs me down the slippery slope to the smaller copy, which shows they're out of stock of Pop-Tarts, which socially proves to me that Pop-Tarts are a very popular snack. Here's another one. This is called the quiet toy ad and it's from Crayola and it says time for a new box for a lot of little reasons. And in the background, it shows this kid's mom quietly ironing while the kid is quietly coloring. Now, whoever wrote this knew what they were doing. This headline clearly appeals to parents who would just for a bit want their kids to play with the toy that keeps them quiet. And this 1979 Crayola ad uses a descriptive headline to appeal to these parents. This is a great, great headline, very curiosity inducing. Check out this heart tugging Gillette shaving ad. At the very top left, it says, I didn't get the job. Oof, well that hits home. But what really makes it hit home is that this downtrodden five o'clock shadow man is talking to his wife and telling her, I didn't get the job. You can almost feel the disappointment in them both. So this is totally an emotional headline that grabs people. And you can clearly feel the disappointment on both the man and his partner, through the combination of this headline and image. Check out this reverse psychology ad. It says 10 reasons not to buy a rabbit GTI. And so in your brain, you think, wait, 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 they're trying to advertise something clearly in this magazine ad, but why are they saying not to buy it? So that makes you want to read the next line. So number one, it goes too fast. And then it says zero to 50 at 7.2 seconds, top speed, 107 miles per hour. And so you start actually reading features about the car, even though you're trying to read features about why not to buy it. So in the end, you're like, oh, they got me with the reverse psychology. It said not to buy the car, but then also it's just like the car is awesome through all these things. So since this headline grabbed us to read it, the rest of the copy gets read as well. So these are all great reasons to buy the car started by a great headline. Check out this 1978 Atari headline that says, don't watch TV tonight, play it. Nowadays, this isn't a big deal, but back in 1978, being able to play the TV was like a weird notion that you can control with your fingers what's going on on the TV. That was like crazy to think back then. So this is a very intriguing headline that says, don't watch TV tonight, play it. Check out this feature ad that showcases the handle on a boombox from this 1980 boombox Panasonic ad. It says, this Panasonic stereo has one component your component system doesn't have. A handle. Now, back in the day, boom boxes, these types of things were just taken off. And you could just pop in a tape, play whatever you want, and take the music where you want to go. Nowadays, this isn't that big of a deal, but at the time, this is groundbreaking. And because it talks about the handle, it makes you want to read that copy down below. And inside that copy, it talks about more features of the stereo and why it's better than having a component system that you can't move around so easy. So the headline does the heavy lifting, pun intended, along with the image and gets you to read the copy afterwards. And last but not least, let's not forget about using funniness to attract attention. So check out this tasty looking Big Mac ad from 1979. First of all, you'll notice that the headline is nowhere to be found on the top of the page. It's just a giant picture of a giant Big Mac, which I gotta be honest, looks kind of good right now. And the headline is kind of like a weird thing. It almost doesn't look like English at first. It makes you second guess what language you're reading. And it says, two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onion on a sesame seed bun. And what this is, is a 1979 campaign that McDonald's was running on TV where people were saying this is exactly what they want. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun, which is what the Big Mac is. And so this tasty looking Big Mac ad had this really funny headline and the image is super grabbing itself. So it's designed to get you from the slippery slope at the top and pull you in to read the copy below. 
So as you can see from those seven examples, that there are many different ways that you can use a headline to grab people. And there's also more than these seven ways, of course. So the ones we covered here were surprise, which is saying, oops, we goofed, and getting people to be like, what, what's that? And I wanna read more. The other one is descriptive. It says Crayola is the quiet toy. It makes you wanna read it based off of that. Another one is an emotional heart tug where it's like, I didn't get the job. And that's an emotional heart tug that gets people to wanna to read the rest. One is reverse psychology. And that was the GTI ad where it says 10 reasons not to buy this car. Another one is intrigue, which is don't watch TV tonight, play it. Another one is features. And this is the boombox ad that says, this is something your stereo system doesn't have a handle. And then the last one is funny with the McDonald's ad that says, two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, et cetera. <laughs> so those are a couple ways to grab attention on your headline. Now, remember, your headline isn't everything in your ad. Your sender reputation, your product, your image all go along with it. So it's not the most important thing in the entire world, but it is the part that grabs people's attention. And if you are selling a boring product like some sort of insurance software or something, well, then you can have a boring headline that just says, we do all your insurance for you and you don't have to fill out any forms. You could be very descriptive if nothing else. So you don't have to be clever. You don't have to be crazy. You don't have to be curiosity inducing. Oftentimes a great headline nowadays is just descriptive. I'm Neville Medora. I hope this helps you write some great, great headlines. If you need any help, check out copywritingcourse.com. We have a community area where myself and a bunch of writers will go over your own headline and talk about this. So join me inside. My name is Neville Medora. I will talk to you later.